hello hello it is chris raquel and i'm back again with another video today today is day 17 of our 21 days of change so we are at that home stretch and this 21 days of change involves doing your exercises as well as daily prayer i have a topic i'd like to discuss it's a very interesting topic it has to do with people who end up liking someone just because a friend does as well as dating the ex of someone else um we have to be so careful with those things because number one you something that i've seen a lot of is people even growing up i remember someone wouldn't be interested in someone and this is mainly from a, a woman's or a girl's perspective a young lady would not be interested in someone in the slightest and then all of a sudden she'll see that one of her friends another young lady likes this man this guy or that this guy is dating a certain woman and this girl sees that he is taken now and then all of a sudden she starts liking him it's very interesting if someone is single that's okay for you to be interested in them but if they're taken to me i've always seen it as like just a complete um often just a complete turn off especially if you don't have any history with that person i've always just found it very strange that let's say someone does not doesn't really know someone well and then all of a sudden they you know they weren't really interested in him maybe they weren't attracted to this person but now that one of their friends is interested in speaking highly of this person now this person has an interest in him all of a sudden when in actuality you know that they really don't have a genuine interest in this person if all of a sudden they like them because someone else likes them or perhaps they thought this man was single they weren't interested and then now they see him with the lady maybe they think the lady's cute or maybe they think she's not cute and now they feel like oh i look better than her so he should be interested in me when in actuality like i said they're actually not even interested in him so we have to be really careful with those things because if you're coming from that type of place where now you're interested in someone because someone else has him or because you want the man to choose you over someone else you are really in a space where you're going to need to recognize and figure out who you really are because there's some things going on inside of you there's some issues that you're going to need to talk through with either a life coach or relationship coach or perhaps a therapist um you can really dive into some things maybe related to um, past relationships and friendships that you've had family dynamics maybe that can help you through that because I'll be honest, no, it is not normal for you to be interested in someone because someone else has them. Or let's say someone was interested in you before and you were not interested in them whatsoever. Then they move on to another young lady and now all of a sudden you're interested in him or now all of a sudden you're trying to flirt with him and try to get him to lose interest in her to come to you. But then honestly, it's just not going to work out because most likely if he leaves that young lady and goes back to you because he was initially interested in you, it's not going to work out because you're not interested in him to begin with, right? We have to stop this competition amongst women. Ladies, there is a man out there for you. You don't have to steal somebody's man, okay? If you don't know this man from a can of paint, there is absolutely no reason why you should be behaving this way, trying to take someone's man or try to get someone to be interested in you. So we just have to be really careful. And then also, maybe there's someone that you dated and they were your ex. You didn't like them, you broke up with them, you decided to move on. And then now you see that he has someone else or maybe you didn't even move on. Maybe you didn't even move around, move on. Maybe you just weren't interested in him any longer and you broke up with him. Now you see he's moved on some months later and now you want him because you see that he's with somebody or maybe you think the lady looks nice and you feel like you, you'll feel bad if he's with someone who looks cute or maybe you think she doesn't look cute so then you feel like, no, I can take this man back from her. And these are things that actually happen. This is, this is just... just just recognize who you are just recognize that you don't have to be fighting over someone you don't have to be fighting for a man because there is a man out there for you one thing that i always say yes i've shared information about the three men that i was dating as i was seeking to be married however all we need is one person 
all we need is one guy the guy right guy for us and i have that man that is my husband all we need is that one person you don't need to be out here trying to fight and take someone's guy because most likely if you do that we live in a universe where, where we reap what we sow so that means you do things that are not that great it can come back to you and it often does that's why i say when people are doing bad to other people don't feel bad don't feel like you have to get revenge because just based on that person and their habit of treating people poorly they are bringing negativity into their life so the way that they're treating people is going to happen to them okay but back to the point there is no reason for you to feel like you need to take someone's man and people will say well you know i don't know what the saying is but you know what thing i'm talking about um you can't no you there's no reason to hmm, something about you can't keep someone who doesn't want to be kept something like that okay that may be the case you know if the man was really that ladies maybe he wouldn't leave but no us as women we need to have some standards if men knew that they couldn't just go and find another lady they you know if women actually had standards and a lot of women have standards and there was always someone waiting in the wings to be with a man if he dumps his girlfriend or his fiance for you men wouldn't be doing that in the first place so you know it, it it always takes two so yes if the man doesn't want to be kept he won't stay however there's no reason for somebody to be tempting him to go to them and there was one point in time where i kind of felt like well you know it's kind of fair game not fair game in, in terms of trying to steal someone's man but kind of like um you know everyone can date and get to know people unless they're engaged and, and married, but you know, just thinking now, it's like, no, like if someone's in a relationship, it's one thing if someone is like dating multiple people and they're not in a relationship, I think that is fine because I was dating people, you know, I was not, you know, not intimate with any of these people, but I was getting to know three people at a time. So if someone is doing that, okay, that's different. But I generally say if a man wants you, he wouldn't be dating multiple women. <laughs> However, let's say that's the case and he's getting to know different people. Okay, that's completely different. Um, However, you know, you don't need to try to take someone's man, okay? And just think about it. Man, men and women, if the person that you're after is already in a relationship and they are trying to get with you, just know when you're with them and if they see someone or if they're interested in someone that they want to befriend and get to know in a relationship form, they will do the same thing to you, okay? Similar to the whole baby daddy situation, if you see a man is not caring for his children and he has children from a different woman or different women, and he's not caring for them just know if you were to become impregnated you would be in that same situation so don't ever think that you're going to be different if you find that someone's a cheater also listen to what people are saying if piss like i mentioned before if someone's always going to talk about how crazy their ex was or how you know they had to just stop talking to one of their exes or they had a girlfriend and they just cut things off with her um you know and she was crazy just know they're probably gonna do the same thing to you and say that you're crazy okay um but back to what i'm talking about i also wanted to talk about dating someone's exes <sighs> there was a situation that i found very interesting um i don't know if you are aware of the singer and fashionista billionaire i believe she's a billionaire rihanna um she's originally from the barbados and she used to be good friends with naomi campbell the supermodel one of the originals and no naomi really spoke highly of her but i see that rihanna really didn't value that friendship i don't know her i love rihanna by the way i think she's beautiful and uh i don't know if she valued the friendship or not so let me backtrack on that but i will say that based on what i've seen this is not uncommon so i'm just using this example because this is what i've seen in real life um they may have had a friendship or you can even look at the situation that happened with j-lo and brianna as well i remember j-lo had sent her some some really beautiful boots from a collaboration that she did with one of the um 
high-end designers I think it was a luxury brand and then JLo wore one of her videos and they were very friendly and close and some of you may know that Rihanna had a situation with um with Drake they were I guess on and off dating so basically I wanted to say with Naomi Campbell as you can see there was a situation I don't know if you remember that billionaire Arab man that Rihanna was dating for a couple years originally she no originally Naomi Campbell was dating them dating him after that situation Naomi and him Naomi and Rihanna were no longer talking they're not friends anymore you know so you know we clearly see because they were very close as soon as that situation happened they're no longer talking about each other or singing each other's praises so um that's a situation where I won't say necessarily Rihanna, but a young lady will say, well, this man's a billionaire. He's cute. Huh, he seems to be interested in me. I don't really care if he dated my friend. You know, I just, I'm about that money. He seems to be a high quality person and, you know, friendships come and go. Maybe men come and go, but I'm going to go forward with this man. Ladies, okay, we see Rihanna or whoever it is. Is most likely not going to stay in that relationship for forever right so if you get with an ex of your friend you you're breaking that friendship you're most likely never gonna be friends with that lady again and I'm telling you that relationship that you're trying to get with that's not going to last either or you can pretend to be happy you're not gonna be happy in that relationship so I'm looking back I'm sure Brianna may have said oh wow I lost a good friend over that and not necessarily Rihanna, but anyone who's been in that situation, you're going to look back and be like, oh, I lost a friend over a guy and that guy is gone. So keep those things in mind. And then I brought up that to say, remember, this is not to say anything specifically about Rihanna. It's just to say how things work in life. Afterwards, Rihanna and Jennifer Lopez, Jennifer Lopez then was dating Drake after Rihanna and her were friendly and friends. I believe what I've seen, I don't know if it's true or not, they said that Rihanna would even talk to Jennifer Lopez about the on and off situation with Drake. And that's what caused her to be like really hurt by that. And from the outside looking in, it'd be like, oh, wow, that's a bad situation. Why would Jennifer Lopez do that? And we see Jennifer Lopez for who she is. She's someone who I would never really encourage ladies to have their female friends around their guys and boyfriends and things like that. But we can certainly see from us looking in that Jennifer Lopez is probably not a girl's girl. She's somebody who would have no problem dating someone's boyfriend or ex. Because I'm not sure if they were still together or not. They could have been exes. They could have still been on and off. So I, anyway, I can say that clearly about Jennifer Lopez. You know, she is who she is. But it's interesting to me that that ended up happening to Rihanna because she did something similar to her friend and we see how things come back around. And I guess say all this to say, just to give you an example of something that we've seen in society, how, you know, you what you put out into the atmosphere is gonna come back to you. So you may be thinking to yourself, like I always do good to people and they always do bad to me. I'm tired of this. Let me just go around and do bad. It's a dog eat dog world. No, continue to do good. That good is going to eventually come back to you. Believe me, I've seen it in my life. Um, you know, good is going to follow you as long as you continue to do well, build your relationship with God, and you're going to get back what you deserve. And those people who are doing what doing bad, they're going to get back what they deserve as well. Um, I'm just saying that generally. Okay, so you should not be liking other people because your friends do. You know, and for all we know, in that situation that I mentioned, maybe. Rihanna wasn't really even interested with that man initially. Maybe just the fact that he was with a black woman like Naomi Campbell and her knowing that she's younger than Naomi. Um, some people might say she's more attractive. I wouldn't say that. I just say that they're nice looking ladies. You know, I will say people are beautiful just when I like them. <laughs> um, but, you know, maybe that's what prompted her. No one knows, but I'm just bringing that up because that's what happens sometimes. You, let's say you're introducing someone. I've actually seen this, right? You, you'll you think to yourself, oh, that could have been me. He talked to me first. And then you see that he's now with someone else. And it might be your friend. Maybe you guys weren't, you guys weren't initially really talking, but maybe he just saw, saw you, attempted to talk, attempted to chat you up. And then you were interested, so then he chatted up your friend. And then he ends up dating her. And then you see the nice things that he's doing for her. Then you're like, oh, that could have been me. Why wasn't that me? He was really interested in me. Why didn't he try to date me first? 
um, or you'll be trying to flirt with him on the low to see if he's going to try to give you a side eye look, a little wink to see if he's interested in you too. So just be careful of those things. And I think you really need to work on yourself. I know people think that there's a shortage of men, but it's not like that. There's a guy out there for you. Continue to pray, work on yourself, and God is going to bring that person that you're looking for, that you're hoping for. Um, you know, there's so many things that maybe you can work on. And then when the timing is right, assuming you're putting yourself out there looking cute, um, you know, you've worked on yourself, your personality, you are, you know, loving yourself, eating healthily, things are going to come right and they're going to fall right in your lap, honestly. So hope you have a wonderful evening. Be blessed.